water park admission is going to be included in your stay when you stay on Disney property for the check-in day in which you check in at your hotel. Yeah. So basically, you can enter one of the water parks on that day only, no admission required. You don't even have to buy tickets. You don't have to buy any kind of tickets. Well, you don't to, have to get tickets. So you can just go. Right. You don't have to buy tickets. You don't have to buy any kind of tickets to any park. You can literally just show up. I think as long as it's like your room is linked to your magic band or something, Probably your there's got to be a way to prove that, you're, you know, that you've checked in. Um, but yeah, so you can go to the water park and enjoy it for that day only. Um, the first thing I've thought of, and we actually talked about this, was split stays. Well, from my understanding, the first day... Let's for let's say you're staying for five nights and you're staying two nights at Port Orleans and three nights at Pop Century. The first check-in day for your your Port Orleans, you could go to the water park for free, and the first day in your check-in at Pop Century, you could also do that. So it seems yep. as if the first day of whatever your rev, your reservation starts, you can go to the water parks. Now, yep. I guess the question you have to have with this is: first off, I don't like I don't think this is a a bad thing. No, when I heard this. I feel like this is, first off, it's a perk, and we've talked about it for a long time, that Disney needs to bring back perks to staying on property. More. They need to bring back sure. more. And for there's, sure. And I think this is a good step in the right direction. I don't yeah. think this is nearly enough still, but it's like, okay, that's good. Now, it does come with those caveats of it's the first day of your check-in. I'm, I wonder how many people are really going to utilize this. I feel like there's a select group of people that this will, will probably take advantage of this, considering... I feel like there's a lot of people that are going to check in that may not even know about this. Right. They may tell them when they check in. Uh, water parks also aren't for everybody. Not everybody right. loves water parks. Right. You also have rain and weather. And it's not right. like, from my understanding, it's not like if you went on your day you were check in and let's say it's storming and the, and the water parks will shut down when it's storming. I don't believe you get a rain check. Now, I um, don't know this. They didn't have any wording about that. I don't think That's something so. I'm curious about is like, oh, we would like to take advantage of this. They're closed. I don't know how they're going to handle that. Well, if you if you get it in for free, they're not going to compensate you or anything for that. Well, but anyway. if it's part of a perk, you know what I mean? And you actually, not that you chose not to use it. You literally could not use it. That's a that's a caveat that they that we mm. won't know about until probably this goes into effect. My guess is they won't do anything. That would be my guess because it's it's not a it's not a something you're paying for. It's just included. Well, in, your in stay. a way, you are paying for it. If it's a perk of your hotel stay, in a way, you are paying for that. A- again, mm-hmm. I don't know. What well, I don't know. I I think that you could run into a situation where they do end up doing rain checks in those situations for for people that wanted to utilize it. That's that's a we'll have to see about that. I don't right. know. I'm not sure. Um, you know, the other thing is like. You've got that. It, it, it's so limited. I, I Again, I think it's something that Disney can go around and say, you know, hey, here's a perk for staying on the on property, which oh, that's not a bad perk. It is kind of very limited, and it's kind of yeah. odd on how that, that is the case. But I think that's – I'm like, okay, that's a perk. Well, and if you're going into your vacation, let's say you are you have a really early flight and you get in, let's say at 9 a.m. or 10 a.m., then it may make sense for you to like, hey, I'm just going to hop over to the water park. My room's not ready. I didn't want to use another park ticket day at like Magic Kingdom or Epcot or something. I'll just go to the water park and, and it'll, just, it'll just hang out. Sounds like a great idea. But for the people that are like coming in, like a lot of international flights don't get in until later in the day. Again, this varies, obviously. And a lot of people like to come in later on the day they come in. Too. Right. Yeah. And like even if you get in at like noon, let's say you go in at noon, um, sometimes the parks don't stay open that long. Sometimes they're open until like maybe five or six. Um, especially if you're coming in the winter, maybe it's too cold. <laughs> Who knows? Like, yeah. so yeah, there's a lot of people that may not use it. I think there'll be a lot of locals that will use it or annual pass holders that will, um, just because they, maybe they've been to the parks like so many times. They're just like, okay, let's take a water park day. And we haven't been there in a while, whatever the case is. Well, and if you think about it, if you really want to go to the water parks, it's going to be cheaper for you. Let's say you had a family of four. And my understanding is everybody that's on your reservation gets into the gets into the park yeah so it would actually be cheaper for you to book let's say a pop century room for let's say 125 dollars a night and then go to the water park because the yep. water park tickets are what they run about 40 dollars 
50? Uh, no, they're more than that. Um, it's been a while. They're, le- they're definitely less than the than the, the four parks. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're, I mean, they're a considerable amount. Let's say they're $70. Okay. That's for four sure. tickets. You're okay. going to save money by just booking a hotel room. Sure. So in a way, yep. um, you know, that's one thing you could do if, you re- yep. if you're wanting to do the water park for sure, especially more for locals. But I, I am curious how much Disney is going to promote this or communicate about this because we've seen this before in the past disney a lot of times has an issue with relaying this information to say like people who aren't plugged into the disney loop of things or like the theme park world because that's why i was saying i could see a lot of people going to check in and they don't even know that this is a perk and then they probably check in and go by the way if you'd like to go if you guys would like to go to you know uh, typhoon lagoon today it's free to do it and maybe a lot of people being like oh well if i had known that we would have came earlier or something so i'm curious about how much they're going to use this in marketing because i feel like again this is one of those perks in which it sounds like you're getting free admission to a to a well disney wouldn't say you're getting free admission to a park if you're universal Mm -hmm. you would call one of your water parks a theme park but disney doesn't do that which is a big perk so i think that's you know I, I'm curious as to how much this is something people will utilize or really book because of this, I guess. There's a lot of what ifs about this. Like, yeah, I, you know, sure. people are on the fence. I think this going along with more, like we've talked about last night on the live stream, I think more things along the lines of getting, uh, you know, let's say Genie Plus, maybe for free. If you're staying at, you know, certain, maybe staying in the uh, deluxe range of hotels, you get that for free. Like more perks for maybe certain levels of your stay. I think that's if you do more stuff like this, then I think you're really having a great conversation of like, you can get free theme park or get free water park admission plus this, plus that. I think that would be great. And I think they should do more things like this, but this is step in the right direction. I am just curious. I mean, we'll probably utilize it just because yeah, we will. we're more, I mean, we're not, lo- we're not local locals, but we're a couple hours away. And we also didn't add the water park um, add on to our, our APs. Yeah. So it also makes me wonder yeah. about the water parks. Like are they going to open both of them up? That's uh, that's a mystery. We don't know. And I have the water park attendants probably not. I wonder if they're just trying to drive attendance into the water parks because I'm sure Disney's thinking is people will go in there and buy food, right? Stuff like that. Yep. You know, it, and stop hounding, <laughs> stop hounding well, them. And that was your point. My room ready. Yeah, that was your point. Maybe get some out. They'd be like, go do something here. Go <laughs> go to the water park and spend money, or just go swim for a while. I mean, honestly, that seems like it's very ancillary, but I bet you that's part of it. I really do. It could be it very yeah. well. Could be. Yeah. So. Yeah. It, it I'll be interested to see, but that doesn't start until yeah. 2025. Right. I think if they're really wanting to book, and obviously they're trying to get more people to stay on property. And mm-hmm. yep. I definitely think over the years, the perks of staying on property have waned as they've, you know, the good neighbor hotels. I've gotten a lot of those now. Whereas it used to be a lot of that stuff was just specifically for people staying on Disney world property directly. Mm-hmm. So, I definitely think that they need to do more things. This is a step in the right direction, but I definitely don't think this is all that I, I think they need to do more. But yeah. I do like to see stuff like this. So maybe this is a, maybe they'll make more changes, but I think it's, um, I think they're definitely hearing some of that feedback, which is good. Yeah. But if you do want to book a trip in 2025, starting today, because you can uh, contact travel with zip.com and fill out uh, information for a free quote and they'll get back to you. They yes. are amazing to work with. They are. Yeah. You'll either get Kindle or Lauren. Yes, we have a dedicated CTM team. So you get Kindle or Lauren, and they're yes. both great. And uh, yeah, we we use both in, for all our stuff all the time. So. And it's free. It's free for you. So that is enjoy, true. Enjoy that freeness. Plus, if you listen to the ad, we give you some free stuff too. So yeah. there you go.